Welcome to Luca, and we got two Italiano dudes fishing at night, which I think is an abnormal time to fish, but what do I know? And one of them goes, Mamma mia, Luca dissa, Luca datta, Santa Maria, his puns do not improve at all. Then we cut to Luca himself, sea person, merman, fuckface kid, alright? He herds his family's fish like sheep, and he goes around looking for them because they escaped, which of course they did, because just look at how they're storing them, what the fuck? Also, I don't know how this is useful, because I'm pretty sure they're vegans, so they don't eat them, and they got no wool to make it to clothes, so do you skin them, or is there some sort of slime they secrete that you can profit off of? Uh, yeah, this is too early in the video for me to get this off track holy shit okay moving on fucker checks that the coast is clear for his fish to feast he blows bubbles because he's bored and he sees human stuff then he sees a human boat and he's like oh no land monsters hide oh i see this is one of those both sides think that the other side is a monster movie and they're gonna end up getting along and living happily ever after at the end of the movie no cap just keep watching anyway his mom calls him back for lunch she's overprotective and crap scared he saw a boat and stuff his dad's a retar and his grandma's a bayeris so he asks her where boats come from and she's like oh from the land monster town on the surface you know it sucks to do dick that once mom then she sends him back off to work with no talk of going to the surface bitch he just sat down, didn't eat anything, and you give him what, one plankton dumpling? At least pack him a fucking lunch, you dumbass aquatic slut mom. Whatever, he goes back to work and sees more human stuff, and a dude sneaks up on him in an antique diving suit, and he decides that the only place to go and run away is a cave that he trapped himself in, because it's not like he's in the fucking ocean or anything, and he can swim in literally any other direction and get away at super fast speed. What a fucking brain dead fish, home dog. Anyway, guy in suit turns out to be a fish bitch too, collects some human stuff and goes up to the surface and turns into a human, then pulls out Luca who turns into Tom Holland and freaks the hell out. So Alberto Ascari goes first time of course it's my first time I'm a massive pussy then he does a barrel roll back into the water goes home and that night he can't sleep because of his racist thoughts I mean sorry racing thoughts he's not racist at least I don't think he's racist are there any black sea monsters out there shit I'm off point again fuck okay next day he sets up a decoy of himself to watch over his fishies while he goes up to the surface to meet Alberto again who teaches him how to walk properly and he's like mamma mia pizzeria vaffanculo it's a human thing I'm kind of an expert what does it mean the then he shows him where he lives with his dad in a shitty ass tower except his dad is never around which just means that his dad went out for a pack of sea cucumbers I don't fucking know and never came back then he teaches him about air sun gravity but he doesn't die from any of the fatal stunts he keeps pulling nobody does actually which makes me ask why they're afraid of getting harpooned to death by humans when they're clearly invincible doesn't matter he shows him more shit and he takes a special liking to this poster of a Vespa so they decide to build one and they spend hours doing so then Luca goes home for sundown by the way a Vespa is a horrid unstable piece of shit just saying back home momfish questions where he was but Nana covers for him and next day they run the faggio down the hill to fly off it but suck dick instead and we proceed with a short montage of building more faggios friendship evil knievel almost dying parents finding out luca double duking them human stuff more friendship actually i think they're gay Yep, definitely gay. Then Alberto teaches him how to deal with anxiety. The trick is, apparently, to tell Bruno Mars to shut the fuck up. Then they have one last near-death experience as a duo this time on another one of their two-wheeled abominations. And later on, Alberto gives him a really shitty astronomy lesson and they talk about going to the human town. And Luca dreams about being skeeter brothers and operates El Machina without having any frame of reference other than a picture on how it works, but whatever. Because he overslept and he runs swims back home but gets caught sneaking in by his parents and they find out about him doing some human stuff. So they're like, son, you're fucked. And they want to send him off with his uncle ugly to live in the I want to trench for a bit and learn some discipline or whatever so it's like a uh, boot camp or juvie or something whatever so he's like fuck you guys i hope you get caught by humans who over sexualize fish i know they exist then he swims away and they don't go after him because i can't find a good enough reason honestly they're just stupid ass overgrown caviars actually do they come from eggs or are they born like are they mammals or are they what's the other one reptiles that's not it. I'm so bad at this. Now, moving on. Luca goes to Alberto and tells him what happened, so he's like, let's run away together to Human Town and find Signor Vespa and tell him to build us one of these babies. So Luca agrees, pretty stoked for the idea, and they swim over to the Human Town, sneak in using Jack Sparrow tactics, and Alberto's blind retarded super misplaced confidence carries him through the town with grace, which lands them on some gelato, when Luca notices that basically the entire town wants to kill sea monsters. Then Dickhead Mario arrives on his very own faggio, and he's like, I'm Dickhead Mario, five-time winner of the Porto Rosso Cup. How do you think I paid for my Vespa? Then he tries to bully them when a small wedded alpha Romeo saved them and she got beef with Mario cause she been trying to win the Porno Rosso cock for years which is a competition for children by the way but he keeps taking part in it cause he's a cock face then she gives him a lift like so what the brings of you Italian homos to Porto Rosso uh excuse me we're actually home essentials okay there's some bromance going on right and she tells him about the Porto Rosso cup which is a traditional Italian triathlon where you swim bike and eat pasta naturally then they grasp the concept of money and that if they win the cup they can use the prize money to buy not a good Vespa but a shitty one and they salivate over that idea so they ask her to join her team which prompts her
her to check some stuff like if Luca can ride a bike, which she can, so she teaches him in under a minute to do so, which I think is kind of impossible, but I'm just gonna ignore it because I can't be bothered. She finds out they quote hey unquote hey cannot swim because if they do, they'll be fish and they'll be found out. And she also finds out that they're runaways, so she's like, sounds good to me, you're in, you bike, you eat, and I swim. Andiamo, bitches. Next step is to go to her puppy to, to ask him for some money for the entry fee, and he like a one-armed Italian Mr. Incredible Fisherman that's on the hunt for sea monsters, so Luca freaks out and almost exposes them both, but only the cat sees them, and no one speaks cat, so they're in the clear. Then they dine like Neanderthals, and Italian Hulk tells his daughter, I do not have the money for the entry fee. I cannot sell what I don't have. There are no fish. Excuse me, signora, we can help. We know fish. You know fish? See. Si. Then tomorrow we fish. Next up, Julie gives him a place to stay in her treehouse, and next morning, they wake up after it's been raining for a bit as fish people, and they try really hard to be sneaky and not get a water rating, and I'm finally gonna ask it, how fast does this change happen? Cause on their way to human town, they kept jumping around like dolphins, going switchy witchy between human and fish super fast, but now after it stopped raining for a bit and they ran around for a bit as well, they don't change as fast. Am I supposed to believe that they were swimming and flying fast enough for the wind to make them bone dry in a split second, especially with clothes that are soaked in water? Listen, I'm not saying it's not possible, I, it is, but I was like, I just wanna know what the factors going into making the change faster are, man. Unimportant though, the next day started and Alfa Romeo goes to do her deliveries while the mountain and kids go fishing while they try really hard not to get wet, and he's like, vaffanculo, not the great catch today. Well, you kind of fishing in a shitty spot, compadre. Over there is where all the meat is. And they come back with a huge haul. Meanwhile, Luca's parents are there looking for him. See, they washed ashore that morning, did the change, and are checking all the kids they find by eating them into the water and seeing if they change or not, either by force or through the mom's expert football skills that every single Italian is born with, whether they be fish or human, except for Luca, maybe. By the way, may I just point out how shitty of a plan this is? Because they know that humans want to kill sea monsters, and they are in the most I want to kill sea monsters town. So what happens if you do stumble on your kid and he does turn? I'm gonna kill him. What the fuck? Are you stupid? Sounds like a pretty retarded plan to me, you fucking dumbass sticky sardine people. Also, what if they get splashed? And why aren't his hands turning here? What the fucking stupid shit doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The kids go to sign up for the race. She shows them the map. See, they swim a bit, they eat a bit, and then they go up and down with a bike. Easy peasy lemon for breezy. Then they get Mario shows up again and once again continues being a bellend. So Luca calls him a sad little whiskered bottom feeder. Hmm, bottom feeder. I'm gonna keep that news later. Then Julia applauds him for his sick burn and Albi kinda gets a bit jelly and they sign up for the thingy. Then they train with some eating and some biking. <laughs> Again, he should have been broken here. Not only him, but his bike too, actually. Oh, whatever, who the fuck cares? Then while Julia doing some swim training, Cunty Mario is out there looking for pea monsters because there's some prize money out for catching one of them too. And he splashes Alberto and almost gets caught, which once again brings up into question how fast they fucking do the change. I'm pretty sure the tell did the trick here, but still, I'm fucking... <laughs> they go home and Luca catches his fam bam chucking kids into the fountain. He tells this to Alberto, but Alberto just like, don't worry about it. Then he goes to help the Italian hunk while Luca bonds with the female and she takes him across some rooftops and does something unspeakable with him. She teaches him about science. She shows him what a telescope is and he hallucinates some shit that he saw in some stuff she calls books at home and he like, dang, I never knew women were allowed to read. Alright, casual sexism aside, how the fuck can he read? Did she teach him that too? Do fish people have super fast learning skills or something? What the fuck is this shit? Whatever, she tells him she learned this shit in school back in Geneva where she lives with her mother and she only comes here for the summer to live with her dad. Then Alberto comes along and calls for Luca because he'd be jealous if they go and see their shitty best but Then Luca tells him that he wants to go to school with a small female and Alberto is appalled. Like, how dare you seek an education? We're we're supposed to be retarded together, goddammit. Then Super Mario shows up to threaten them both, but Lucas defends and they run away, and we proceed with another short montage of food trading, bike training, wet kids because of dumb parents, fishing, and more stupid Alberto jealousy. Then one day while bike training, after Lucas parents spot him, he evades them, then rides up the hill using the power of his monster thighs, and once they reach the top, Alberto's jealousy hits critical mass, and he's like, stop bossing my friend around, huh? I know what he needs. Andiamo! Dude! They go down the hill at ludicrous speed, crash, fly into the sea, and lads and ladies, brace yourselves, because I just found a substance stronger than diamond. This bike, because it still isn't broken, for fuck's sake. They swim to a nearby shore and have an argument, because Alberto being an ignorant, retarded, jealous bitch, and Luca wants to go to school. Then they have a big fight, and the girl comes along, glad they're alive, and Luca asks her if they can go to school with her, which triggers Albi, so he's like, This school of yours sounds like a pretty nice place. Tell me, does it accept sea monsters? Then he jumps into the water and reveals that he's a sea monster. Then salt onto the wound that is losing his friend. Luca pretends to be surprised that he's a fish person, and gets chased away by the toothpick and the gumdrop twins. Then at home in Porno Rosso, Julia finds out that Luca Luca Giotto is also a pee person and tells him that he needs to leave because it ain't safe for him here. So he goes back to Alberto's shitty lighthouse, climbs up it with ease because he's fucking Tom Dutchland. Fish person that just learned how to walk, scales a vertical wall. Makes sense, right? Whatever, there's rocks poking out, I'm gonna let it pass, who cares? He finds a place trash because of angry Alberto and finds behind a poster a bunch of prison tallies and he finds Alberto and asks him what they are. He tells him that his dad left him and never came back. What a surprise, who'd have seen that coming? So kids said, and to fix stuff, Luca decides to win the race and buy the shitty ass faggy Vespa death trap two wheel crap machine, then jumps off the light 
lighthouse and dies. Just kidding, he can't die. He's Tom Hiddlerock, remember? Alright, next day arrives. The kid finds a rusty, still somehow operational bike from the ocean, I guess, and splits up their team. Is that possible without paying another entry fee? Doesn't matter. All the kids set up for the start, which is a swimming bit, and he sets up with the old diving suit so he doesn't change into a fish when he's underwater, but it leaks halfway through, and dickhead Mario fucks with him a bit when he gets out, and not a single person from this audience sees this, by the way. Fucking blind Italian shitlords. Anyway, he and Julia get to the eating part, and he takes off right after her and Mario, who got two of his fat henchmen to do the first two parts for him. Super fast rain clouds start looming over Porto Rosso, and using his massive Lance Armstrong thighs, he cruises by his parents, Julia and Mario, crazy power, got speed, son. It's kind of bullshit to be honest, but what the fuck do I know about the anatomy of fish people in this movie? Got speed. Then when Luca gets to the very tippy top of the hill, it starts raining, and out of nowhere, Alberto comes with a fucking umbrella to help Luca, barefoot, might I add, so his feet should have been turned to fish feet here, but they aren't, which is horse shit, actually, it's fish shit, fuck this. Dickhead Mario catches up and does more dickheadiness, which reveals Alberto's fishiness, and he gets caught, so Luca goes pedal to the metal and turns full fish guy too to save his homie, so Mario follows them with a harpoon, and Julia races after to help them, the four of them moving at super speed, the amount of traction they have here should have no business being here on such a wet surface, but fuck me, fuck physics, fuck you, fuck everything, let's just fucking keep going. Julia sacrifices herself to save them from Mario, finally with one of the fucking bikes break, and they stop to help their fallen for- Oh my ass, those are the spokes, how is this wheel spinning straight at all, it should be gayer than James Charles, what the fuck? They stop to help her and Buff Dad sees this and has a change of heart about killing sea monsters, cause of course he does and stops Mario from impaling them, then the whole town changes its minds about sea monsters cause big burly Italiano man changes man, and in some more good news they technically win the cup, you get the standard family reunion, they get the rust bucket Vespa with the prize money, then Alberto sells it to pay for Luca to go to school, must be a pretty shitty school if you can pay for that piece of crap. Anyway, Luca only going to school because money I guess, and Alberto stays behind to help one handed hunk guy, Bella Ciao, everything bueno ever after, fine. This movie gets Olive Garden's infinite breadsticks out of one Bath and Body Works.